Hello everybody, welcome to Primal Reef. Uh, this is going to be another update on installing and uh, wiring the LED floodlights. If you can see, this is my 10 watt and if you look over here, my 30 watt finally came in. So just to give you a little size comparison on what size it is and how big it is, it is awesome. This thing looks monstrous. Uh, pretty huge. I kind of have it disassembled a little bit, but uh, this is exactly how it is. Um, so as you can see, it's it's not bad in the depth. Um, pretty pretty large on the outside, the main face of it. So this is 30 watts RGB LED floodlight. This is going to be going on my reef tank. The, again, this video is going to be on how to wire the system up. What happens uh, when you buy the unit, you're going to have a wire that kind of pops out. Uh, this wire, you can connect it from outside the casing. This wire will come in uh, three different types. You have the yellow and the green which is your power ground and inside here which let me cut for you guys a little bit so you have an idea what colors are there okay inside here you have the blue and the brown depending on what country you live in uh, you gotta double check uh, exactly what type of wires or the the terminals are in your your wall socket and also your wires uh, this is coming from China, so in like, China, I am, I'm assuming that the, this is how what the color codes that they use. Uh, yellow with the green stripe is always your ground. For those of you who are ordering this and installing these in Canada and the States, your brown is going to be your life, your blue is going to be your neutral. When you buy a Canadian plug or a plug from Canada or the States, you got three wires. But this time you have white, black, and green. So green, once again, is going to be your power ground. Your black is going to be your live. The white is going to be a neutral. So it's not that complicated. It's all right. You guys can definitely do a search online to figure out exactly what prawn system or what uh, polarity that you need in your, in your uh, home electrical uh, sockets. Let me show you something. When you do purchase these lights, sorry, so here we go. When you purchase a light, uh, they'll come in a casing like this. And you're going to have an outer nut that mounts onto the outer side. You have a silicone which is attached to this wire. So all you do is you, you cut the wire from the transformer that's in the box and you feed that through your new wire so this wire here I purchased from a regular electronic store yeah, it's like four dollars for the wire it wasn't much Home Depot sells it for $9.99 or $10.99 so go to your electronic store if you guys are living in the Toronto region or the GTA Canada you can go to uh, Active Surplus they have them there for two to three dollars very cheap so what you want to do is you want to feed your new wire into that hole that's on the outside of the shell. So feed that through and with the silicone it locks into place. So now all you do is you tighten that nut at the top so it secures the wire. Uh, let me hold this. Okay, so that's all mounted on properly, nice and tight. Okay, and then you have your three wires taking out. So in the system that you have, the, the floodlights, again, the two wires, you want to solder them together, color code and color match them according to what your system or your country's wires are. When you buy these from online, the blue is a neutral. So you want to match the neutral with the neutral. So blue and white. What I'm going to do is just kind of twist tie these together. Oh, I'm sorry. Before you twist tie them, you may want to put some heat shrink on it. This is just so they don't uh, interlock with each other or touch. There's too many heat shrinks in here. Okay, find the right size. Here we go. 
get your heat shrink cut into the right size that you need. And you feed your heat shrink inside the wire first. Remember this always. I'm going to feed into the white and the black. So again, your white is alive. Uh, sorry, white's a neutral. Oh my god. Uh, Butterfingers today. Uh, very sorry for this, guys. Okay, so again, your white's your neutral. And the blue is a neutral on their side. So you want to twist tie these together. Okay. I'm sorry if you can't see this. Let me try to organize everything here. Let's put the lights over here. Okay. So all you want to do is apply a little bit of flux on both the wires. Again, flux allows the solder to bond evenly and uniformly. So you don't have any rugged drops or drips or tear drops or anything coming off it. Get your solder gun. Apply a little bit of solder to it. And just want to touch it. Okay, just blowing it very gently so it just has enough time to stick on. And the same thing on the other side. Get a little bit of flux, put it on both the wires, get a little bit of solder. Now this is a heavy duty gun, it kind of heats up within a couple seconds. Some of you who are using um, the pencil solder, it may take a little bit longer than that. So all you want to do is touch it a little bit. Blow on it, and you're done. So that's soldered up. I forgot one thing, I just gotta get a lighter. Just wanna show you the heat shrink. Okay, so all you wanna do now is pass the heat shrink over the wires. So it never touches within the box. You never ever want to leave these two wires dangling inside the box without any protection or any covering on it. Heat shrink is very simple to use. All you're going to do is apply the heat shrink, add a little bit of heat to it, and the wire, the plastic tubing shrinks over the wiring. There's no way to slip and there's no way to take it off besides cutting it off. Okay, just a little bit. You don't want to overhead and melt it. So that's it, that's the, your, your two wires. Just to show you guys, blue with the white, brown with the black. Your green now, this is a little tricky one. Green is usually ground, so you want to ground it to the body of your unit. You can actually go ahead, put it inside here. What I like to do is unscrew the inside nut. There's a nut on the inside and there's a nut on the outside. Don't touch the outside. Inside nut. You just want to release it a little bit. Ah, sorry about this. Okay, release the nut. Oh god. Don't take it off all the way. Just twist that wire and bend it and keep it behind 
behind that nut. Just like that. So this is going to ground it to the body. This is what ground is. There's no extra wire for ground, so don't go ahead looking for that ground wire. Anytime you have a ground, it's always to the chassis or the body of that unit. Go ahead, plug that in, pinch it with one finger, and tighten it with the other hand. Okay, just take your pliers and tighten the whole nut. pretty tight that wire is not going to go anywhere and that's about it okay your wiring is done before you connect this I would say do a test run so I'm going to connect the light and just show you how it's going to work and if it is working okay onto the plug and if you can see there we go Change the different colors. Everything is available. Make sure it's all working. Proper sequence. Fades. And if anything is not working, do contact the manufacturer. They will definitely send you another replacement one. Uh, if you send this one back. So they're pretty good with a warranty like that. If it doesn't come with a remote, once again, I would say email them. Call them. They will definitely send you a new remote. I had that issue with one of them out of the six that I bought. And they were, they shipped me a new remote right away within a week with express delivery. So they were very sorry for that. But at the same time, they were the customer service is it's it's pretty good. I wouldn't complain about that. When you put it back in, you have a white silicone or clear silicone. Make sure this is in the right order, because in case the light does drop in the water, you want to make sure that it's properly protected in the unit. So there we go. Yeah, it's not going to work. I'm going to have to do it the other way. Okay. There's grooves on both sides. So have the silicone on both sides. This is the hardest part out of the whole job, lining up the silicone. I wish they had already glued it a little bit so it doesn't come off when you're installing this. Flip the light over. Place the transformer properly and the silicone's coming off again. Okay, just place your transformer properly, tuck the wires in, line it up, and place it down. Alright guys, so again it fell off. But anyways, you get the hang of it, that's how you wire up a unit. Some of you guys here who didn't get a chance to memorize the, the, the wire codes, I have it written down on a box so you can follow this right here the blue is what the manufacturer sells you on the wiring so that's their color combination for the electrical outlets back in their country if you are living in the states and Canada please follow the red markings so power and ground is green and green for both here and China Hong Kong Japan they're all the same thing your neutral is your blue in China and neutral is white in Canada your brown your live is your brown in China and black in Canada or the States so you can follow this guideline once again please don't reverse this or make that mistake you will blow the unit 
The red marking here is green, white, and black is Canada and the USA. The blue here is in China. So you guys can pause the video, just hold this and install everything. The wire, again, was off some type of computer wire. It doesn't have to be really heavy grade. These are LEDs, so again, they draw no power at all. You don't have to worry about overheating the wires. This I just cut off the ends and followed along the power combinations. They're actually written right on the, uh, the plastic part here. So some of the tools going back at this, duck nose plier, wire strippers, you need some heat shrink, and then you need solder and solder gun. So keep that in mind. Thank you for watching. If you guys have any questions, comments, let me know. Like the video if possible. And some of you haters out there, please, I've been getting a couple dislikes. It's not that I'm worried about it, but please give me the feedback, okay? Again, this is not entirely A++ professional. I have my work table, but again, it's my dad's stuff is on it, so everything is full on that table. I didn't have a proper place to do this. And I'm going to assemble this, wait for my next video, and I'm going to show you exactly how it looks on my tank. Thank you very much. Have a great day, everybody.